Right, so the whole crypto market has obviously been pumping with what coins like Injective being up 14%, Internet Computer 17%, Bonk up 14%, etc. Right, every single altcoin is looking extremely bullish, and that includes Solana. So, in this video, guys, we're going to be covering why Solana will be able to reach $1,000 this upcoming bull market. Um, how it's been behaving of course, how Bitcoin has been behaving and why it is so bullish right now as well as a really really recent interview from ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood where she's going to be speaking about the ETF news and what's um, happening around that space. So without, without further ado, um, let's get into the crypto market. Now obviously guys as you guys can see it is looking really really bullish of the right like we like we said a lot of altcoins are looking up right also quant is up um, a coin that we didn't mention cardano and also solana right solana is up to 98 dollars again and yeah it kind of got back up from this um current slump that it was on um and it's also almost reached the 100 dollar line again right and yeah that's very crucial a very crucial line for solana and looking at how bitcoin um affected it right a bitcoin just went crazy over the past 12 hours it went up six percent which is huge for bitcoin and for the market cap that it does hold and overall right it's a really good sign for the crypto market and looking at solana's tokenomics to see how they got changed or obviously the crypto or the market cap is up um, 3.68 percent to 42 billion but the volume guys the volume is up 120.58 percent to 4.392 billion dollars which is just mad in my opinion that shows you how many people are trading solana right now and looking at the community it's just so bullish right uh, why is solana's price dropping um this was actually old right before the um, recent pump but overall right solana ready for the rally next wednesday wednesday will pump to the new um, ath and overall right the community is so so bullish only one person is bearish right now and yeah with good cause right with very good cause right now there's so much hype with the um etfs with everything in the crypto market with the bitcoin having getting closer and closer and yeah, for me, this is a great accumulation period because it's still below $100 and a $1,000 Solana, this upcoming bull market is very possible, right? It's very possible. So right now, you need to look at it as an opportunity to be accumulating as it looking at the bigger picture, right? And I'll put this on the one day charts or the one day candles. Looking at the bigger picture, it is moving extremely, extremely bullish, right? It's moving incredibly bullish it's still within the trajectory right um we can even continue these lines as it's still moving within the trajectory and it's still moving extremely bullish with this one extreme spike right and it's still looking amazing it's still looking incredible in my opinion this project this price um and as well with all the ecosystem and with all the tokens that have um that share the solana ecosystem they have been going mad as well and yeah um as long as Bitcoin continues to stay bullish, everything is possible for Solana. And with that being said, let's check out this um, interview from Kathy Wood to see what she has to say regarding the Bitcoin ETFs. And we'll see how that will affect Solana at the end of the video. Bitcoin's higher today as we await the SEC's ruling on the first ever Bitcoin ETF. Let's get to Bob Pisani now with today's ETF Edge and special guest, Kathy Wood. Bob? Uh, Scotty, good to see you. You know, it's been 10 years in the waiting, 10 years. But crypto enthusiasts believe the SEC is finally on the verge of approving a spot Bitcoin ETF, perhaps as soon as this week. We'll see. There's 13 applicants for Bitcoin ETFs. First in line, Kathy Wood from Mark Invest. Kathy joins us now. Great to see you, Kathy. You, you know, Great Kathy, to see you, Bob. you were around. It was the, the Winklevoss twins who filed for the first Bitcoin ETF. It was 2013, as I recall, and I think it took until 2017 for the SEC to reject that application along with all the others. Do you believe your application will be approved? And, and why do you think so? And, and what kind of negotiations have been in with the SEC about this? Give us a sense of where we are. Now, before she goes into this, guys, obviously, this is one of the biggest faces in the ETF space, right? And one of the biggest candidates to approve, right? And if you can see how many views this has, uh, it being two hours ago, you can see why it's so important and yeah with that being said let's see what she has to say 
Sure. Uh, well, we we do think the probability is very high that uh, a, that Bitcoin ETFs will be approved this week, uh, and the reason, as we've been saying, is you know the SEC actually after you know denying denying uh, a, a number of times started asking questions, uh, very good questions, very detailed questions, very de technical questions. So uh, I think they've asked all the questions uh, they need answered. And I think uh, uh, most of us have probably uh, been a part of that, uh, a part of that, uh, you know, process. So let's assume, assume the SEC approves your application. What kind of impact would a Bitcoin ETF have? I mean, we've all noticed this run up uh, in Bitcoin, ever since BlackRock announced their interest from 30,000 to over 40,000, all of this is anticipation of a, a spot Bitcoin ETF. Do you, it, could this be a sell on the news event? What, what, what happens from here? Let's assume this is approved. Now, obviously, the impact would be huge, right? The impact would be incredible. You can see how big of an impact it has. Um, uh, the ETF news have just as news. So imagine if they get approved, right? Sure. Uh, I think so many people uh, are expecting now a, a sell on the news that we might not have a sell on the news because, you know, once you hear that enough, the positioning is already taking place. So who knows? It's a very short term. All we know is with our five year investment time horizon, uh, we think the flows into this new asset class um, especially institutional flows, but also retail flows. Retail has led the charge, of course, uh, that they're going to be quite substantial. And it won't take much of an allocation by institutions into Bitcoin to drive uh, what is becoming a scarce asset uh, much higher. Now, you recently uh, reportedly sold Coinbase stock. Uh, this is usually considered a, a proxy for Bitcoin. So what are your thoughts on, on Bitcoin now? What kind of, what, where, what, flesh out your ideas a little bit for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he actually brought that up because that has been a topic of debate on Twitter in crypto spaces for so long, right? Her selling Coinbase stock, her selling some other stocks as well. So yeah, let's see what she has to say um, regarding this. So on... Well, on Coinbase, uh, it was up 400% last year. And we, we as we do uh, normally, and you've seen us trading around Tesla, now trading around Coinbase, uh, a lot of good news. It became the largest stock in our flagship portfolio. In terms of Bitcoin, uh, we think uh, we've got three very big reasons for it to continue to move higher. One, it is digital gold and gold is a $12 trillion asset. I think Bitcoin might be up to 800 billion right now. Uh, so we do think there is some substitution taking place. Uh, and uh, the institutional flows, if uh, the allocations were as little as two and a half to, to 5%, which is uh, where we think they will end up, you'll, you'll see 0.5 and then 1%, you'll see a legging in. Um, that could be the biggest reason for a Bitcoin to go up because, you know, we're at 19 and a half million Bitcoin outstanding already. 15 million roughly are in long term hands. They haven't moved their Bitcoin in more than 155 days. And yeah, that tells us a lot about the project, right? Um, Bitcoin being so uh, scarce and her comparing it to gold is really um, it makes sense, right? And uh, there's also a difference, a huge difference between the market caps. And it only tells me that there's room to grow for Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, therefore, we're no, we know we're only going to 21 million units ever. So this indeed from 19 and a half to 21 million uh, is becoming a scarce asset. And yeah, guys, that was the video. Scott um, Wagner, how are overall, you? Overall, let me know your thoughts on the crypto market right now. Which coins are you bearish and which coins are you bullish on? And which coins have you um, kind of put into your portfolio? And also let me know your thoughts about Solana. Do you see Solana getting to $1,000 the upcoming bull market? Because judging by what Kathy said uh, in this video, uh, Bitcoin is one of the most scarce tokens right now and that is going to make the old coins pump very hard right and Solana is one of the coins one of those coins which 
which are very safe and also um, have very very high potential at the same time and that's really rare for a um, above 1 billion dollar market cap project and this is 42 billion but i still think uh, a 10x is extremely extremely possible so with that being said guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below on solana where do you see it heading as always i love talking to you today and peace